Hello. Hi. Uh, hang on. I gotta make sure we're good. Okay. So, first things first, we have a little bit of feedback from our last Yum Yum Universal Yum Box, whatever it's called, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it a little tighter. Yes, we chat. I'm very chatty. Um, so we're not gonna read everything in the little book. We are gonna do the trivia. Uh, and then we're gonna get right into. And we're still gonna rate it. These snacks, we're gonna rate them, and we'll see which one wins. Now we've already opened the box, also, so that saves a little bit of time, and we have everything laid out. Uh, you can't really see it. In but no particular we will, order. We will uh, tackle things one at a time. I'm so excited. Ready to say where we're going? Uh, if yes. you can't tell by our. You can't tell by our shirts. We are. We are. In the UK. Yeah. We're okay. going British. So here's the... Uh, right, okay. I can't do a British accent. It's all right. Not everyone can. So, here we are. So, um... Let's not do this. Let's just... This, we're just going to do that. We're only doing trivia questions, and then we're writing. Oh, you don't want to... Well, I just want to show them this. Oh, okay. Uh, so the... It's where in the world are we? you got four options. Um... A, See, he is lucky because he's been there before. I have. I uh, went on a two-week Europe thing where I went a bunch of different places. Two years ago. Uh, uh, next week. I went to the... Two years ago two next years week. Ago. That's crazy. I mm -hmm. uh, went to the, the Eagle and Child uh, pub in Oxford, which was awesome. That's where C.S. Lewis and Tolkien would hang out. Um, so, can you identify the four countries of the United Kingdom? Um, have been, you, oops, sorry, I almost moved you with it. A, B, C, and D. A being Scotland, B being uh, the sort of England uh, proper, as it were. C is Wales, and D is Northern Ireland. Uh, <coughs> that's how okay. that lays out. Cool beans. Bonus question, can you name the capital of the United Kingdom and which of these four countries it is located in? Uh, <coughs> I don't know what the capital is. Of the Isn't UK. it? I, I, I don't know. I think it's. Think, in, I, I thought for a time it was London, but I don't know that, that that's actually true. I don't know. Uh, Let's try the food though. Well, yeah. Because we're chatting. What? And Getting too chatty. Sorry. So let's start off. Let's Gary. just jump in. Um, what do you want to do first? I don't know. Do you want to do the trivia real quick, or do you want to? No, we'll we'll do that in between. We'll do that. Let's just do that at the end, so okay. if you don't want to watch the trivia, you don't have to. We're just going to jump right in. This, um... What is it? Johnny's... Pickled onion rings. Sounds pretty okay. gross. Okay, that's number four on our list here. Very good, very good. Ooh. Rude. I'm sorry. Oh my. Oh my. So, it's like... A it's like Funyuns it's with pickles. Exactly. It's like Funyuns mixed with pickle chips. These are all for Can me. Can try one more? Oh. These are all mine. You, you like them? Um, it's like tart. It's like less, very slightly less crunchy Funyuns <coughs> with pickle, like the pickle chip powderness on it. Mm. Sporting my yep. always cup as well. I got the D and D cup. That's not my favorite. I'm gonna do that as a. It's not horrible. <coughs> I'm gonna do that as a four. You say four. Mm -hmm. I have much higher praise for no, it. No, no. Uh, <coughs> seven. Oh my gosh, prawn cocktail flavor. Oh. Oh, it's shrimp. Pearls. Oh, okay. Shrimp that cocktails. That scared me for a yeah, minute. Yeah, so okay. it's called something different in the UK. That really scared me for a minute. <laughs> yeah, totally. Maybe, is it like the, like the shrimp? I guess we'll see. Here, take two. Okay. Ooh, they're like, they're like the, the uh, Frito twist things. They taste 
tastes very good. It is very good. Mm. The aftertaste is not so good. But that's a six. It's different, for sure. Wait, 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 wait. It's pink bag? Mm -hmm. There it is. You said six? Six. I'm gonna say, I think the same. I'm gonna say a six, too. Because uh, they're not, to me, they're not as good as the, the, the pickle onion rings, which are very good. Um, the Oh, me pick one. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? I'm sorry, I interrupted uh, you. No, no, we're, that's fine. We're trying to be another. conscious of time. No, let's bust it out. Bust it out! Pick one. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna avoid the sweet stuff kind of <laughs> until the end, okay. uh, just for purposes of, <coughs> you know, reasons and things. You wanna do the big bag? Or, sure. Or you wanna save those? No, let's go for okay. it. This is uh, jalapeno and sour cream suitable. It says with a check mark, suitable for vegetarians. Uh, which is good, I suppose. Um, made in Livingston. Trying not to bust it all over my face, y'all. Okay. Hmm. Interesting initial smell. Um, they look to be of the foamy... They almost look like cheesy poofs that they've cored out in the middle of. I like the donut version of cheesy poofs. <laughs> cheesy poof donuts. Wow. Those are very good. That is good. That, my dear, is a nine. Agreed. Okay. It has a good texture. I'm gonna have one more because it's really good. Where's this? Here it is. So far, this one is winning it out. Mm -hmm. um, That's very good. Especially uh, in terms of, they're so, uh, I'm not. British food is amazing. That's very way. good. If you ever get a chance to go to the UK, um, they actually uh, are very, very similar in taste to the various places you go, but fish and chips are obviously big there, and they are. And haggis, if you ever get a chance to have a haggis. Um, try it. They they can't import it in here. Yeah, let's do it. Which leads us to our next one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're at the table. It's <laughs> vibrated the whole camera. <clears throat> haggis and what? Cracked black Cracked pepper. Cracked black pepper. Mm-hmm. This is made in Scotland. That makes sense. Scotland. That does not smell good at all. Yeah, I guess. Which I believe. <coughs> um, I don't remember really what haggis is, to be I honest. Need a bigger but it tastes mm -hmm. good. I had some when I was there. And they, they made this like potato, oh like this potato doughy thing that was almost marshmallowy. Huh. How interesting. <laughs> you don't like it. There you go. You want a jalapeno thing to flush it? Um, That's gross. That isn't great, to be fair. One. <laughs> Zero. No. What? What's a one? Okay. That's the black bag. Oh, oh gosh. I'm gonna give That's it a disgusting. three. Now. Why are you giving it a three? You said it's not great. This wasn't terrible either. Okay, cool. I didn't hate it. It has a bizarre aftertaste. Like, very bizarre. Is Which I want to do? Is it a. I think it's a cookie. It is a cookie. Jammies. You want to try one of these? Sure. You want to just open one of them? Cleanse the palate, <coughs> as it were. This is uh, Wagon Wheels. Let me give you a little close up here. 
Wagon Wheels Jammy. It is rare. <laughs> yeah, you probably wouldn't like haggis either. Ooh. Looks like a moon pie. It does. That is straight up. It's a little thinner than a moon pie. Um, you want to just break it in half or? It doesn't matter. Just take a bite? Sure. Oh, you got it? Mm. It's, it's got jammy stuff in the middle. That's why it's called jammy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um. It has like. Um. In the middle. It's like. Mm. Raspberry and cream with chocolate. Obviously on the outside. Mm -mm. Hmm? I thought I was gonna break it on your mm. on your um That's very good. That my dear is going to be an eight. For me. I agree. I'm so glad that we had that after those nastiness things. <laughs> <laughs> that was gross. <clears throat> you gonna do some more Mackey's chips? The other chips are not sure. as um eccentric with, yeah. with their flavors uh, so they shouldn't be as uh, not so good which one do you want to do so what do we have Scotch bonnet we, let's save that one for later and then we have <coughs> cheddar and mature onion mature cheddar and onion I thought it said nature but it says mature let's do that one <coughs> mature cheddar Oh yeah, I didn't see that one. That one's gonna taste kind of like pickles, pickle chips. It's, it's salt, salt and vinegar, vinegar, essentially. Yeah, it's cider okay. vinegar, which not bad. Mature cheddar is that like sharp cheddar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. These, I will. Uh, just a quick assessment of, of 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 the British chips. They're thicker. They're very thick than, and they're flakier than American chips. Like Ready? they're they're yeah. They're very, they're, they're flakier. Mm -hmm. More airy. Yeah. It tastes like a regular potato chip. It's very good. It's like, it's it's almost like they, they um, I'm assuming that many of you have, have had the, the, the cheddar and sour cream Lay's. Mm -hmm. It's like those, but no sour cream. Yeah. It's Pretty just, much it's just cheese. That's a good description. Mmm, it's very good. What are oh, you thinking? A seven on that. Seven? Mm -hmm. I was always on the same, on the same boat. Those are green. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Good. We really didn't put all the chips together. Whatever. <clears throat> on the list. Is it in alphabetical order? Maybe. It's probably in the same order that it's listed in the book. Oh. Mm -hmm. Which. Again, we're, we haven't looked at the whole book yet. We haven't looked at the whole book at all because we're trying to be time we are. conscious. Uh, and so far, so good. Okay, next is that's a that's going to be rhubarb and custard. Yeah, we'll get to that. You want to try it now? Does it matter? Okay. Chewy bonbons. <coughs> it's a, a, a kind of a crazy, crazy swirly eyed face <laughs> where, the, where the mouth exposes the bonbons. It looks kind of creepy. <laughs> it does. It does. <clears throat> Is it rhubarb a root? Oh. That smells really good. Okay. They so hard? It looks like. It's uh, all like powdered. Yeah. It's chewy. It's, it's apparently chewy. It's like toffee. Oh my gosh. Hmm. <laughs> well, it was hard. Wow. It was hard to get to the flavor. Um. Oh, this tastes so familiar to me. Okay. 
Okay. Consistency is Laffy Taffy. Or a really old Starburst. Yeah. Starts out hard. Gets softer. And then it just gets annoying, annoyingly chewy. It gets softer as you chew it. Um, the taste reminds me of now and later's. Remember those? Yeah, but I don't see that. The um, cherry? It doesn't have too much of a flavor. It, it's more of a tart flavor, but nothing no. else for me. It's good. I like it. Five, four. I'll go five. Go five. Go five. <coughs> Sorry, my voice cracked there. That was unfortunate. Uh, again, didn't uh, find it to be unpleasant. It's oh wow okay. It's 15 calories per piece. <laughs> All right. Take those to work. Yeah, really. If you don't like them too much, I'll snack on them there. Maybe see if anybody else wants to try them. Oh, yeah, sorry. I can't reach. I'm very tall. Mm -hmm. um, you want to do the pickle chips? Sure. Well, what is, what will kind of taste that way? It's like anyway? salt and vinegar, though. Yeah. <laughs> sea salt and cider vinegar. Sea salt. Oh, and they're ridged. <coughs> or ripples or whatever. The wavy. Oh, that smells good. The wavy kind. <coughs> I love how thick Boop. they are. I know. Mm. Well, That's good. Wow. Okay. I'm really picking up on this on the cider mm -hmm. part. Um, That's very good. Wow. That, my dear, for me, mm -hmm. let's move that up to a nine, because this is very good to me. This one? Mm-hmm. I really like this one. It has a great texture. Mm-hmm. Um, the flavor is good. The aftertaste is a little like you had a spoonful of cider vinegar. Yeah, but it's not like the... But it's not overbearing. It's, it's not the type of taste that makes you feel like you're going to get ill. That's true. That's true. It's pleasant. It's a pleasant afterness. It is. This is very good. I like them. I'm going to say eight. Okay. <coughs> I'll try them. Stockley's mm -hmm. raspberry flavored coconut bars. Really? That's it. exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> Gluten free. I have um, scissors over here if you need it. I don't think I will. My lips are like super red, like I'm wearing lipstick or something. <laughs> From the salt. Oh, that makes sense. You gotta smell that. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. Oh, that's very sturdy. Uh oh. It's very sturdy. You gotta be careful with your teeth. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, put that down. Okay, ready? Boop. Mm. <clears throat> oh. It's not sturdy at all. It's like fudge. Mmm. Amazing fudge. Holy cow. Ten. Agreed. Wow. Great at ten. Wow. No. I will whoa. I will say. Where are they? Right here. Mmm. Those I, are delicious. They are incredible. I will say that it's the kind of thing that you really can't eat more than one of at a time. Just one because it's so super it's rich. It's so rich. You got a little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yep. 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 Uh, it's so rich. I, 
think it would hurt me if I had two, although I really want it's to have very another good. one. Wow. <sighs> Last chips. Okay. And then we'll get into the sweeter things. <coughs> Basically, <coughs> at present, we have more sweet things than we, we have non sweet things. Scotch. Is that bonnet or? Scotch bonnet chili pepper chips. Those, this, the, the coconut bar is kind of leave coconut flakes around Everywhere. in your mouth. <laughs> so Ooh, you, this might be, uh, it smells a little spicy. it does. I'm excited. And like most chip bags, has like nothing in it. <laughs> uh, dink it. And sink it. That's good. You okay? Mmm. Oh, my eyes are watering. I didn't even get that much kick out of it. Maybe I got a bad chip. Let me You're try another You're from Louisiana. One. Well, that's fair. These are really good. You okay? Your sinuses are stuffed up. Get some of those. They won't be after you have oh. these. Ooh. Okay. So the more I'm you eat, torture myself again. the more <laughs> the more you eat, good. it builds upon itself, which is very nice, actually. Um, it's not a spiciness that um, like it's instant, like immediate. No. Tasteless it burn. It lingers because it's rude like that, but very good. Um, I'm, I'm gonna eat this whole bag. That's gonna be a seven for me. We have more. Hmm. Seven for you? Mm-hmm. Gotta be nine for me. I love spicy stuff. I have a problem. <clears throat> mm. Whack, then unwrap. Do we wanna do this one? Or is it gonna take that? I don't know if we'll be able to eat it. I don't know if we'll be able to eat the toffee. There's a lot of toffee here. Okay. <clears throat> Forewarning. This is going to be loud, okay? And shaky. And a little shaky. Go for it. Great. Goodness gracious, okay. I don't know about this, dear. You want to scissor? <laughs> scissor it for me? Cut it open. Uh. Yeah. I was trying to open it because I'm stubborn. That's okay. Rude. That's not bad. Wow. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. So it's toffee that has Brazilian nuts in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, take this. Take this piece. <laughs> Here. Have that piece. I'll have this one. Okay. okay. I'm not fighting with it. Hmm. Okay. Wow. It's, um... Ow. It has a good taste, though. It has a very good taste. It's okay, like, for me. Like um, let's do seven for me, because I don't like how hard it is, because it's really kind of... Mm. It's a lot of... I like a caramel. I don't like caramel consistencies. Oh, it's gonna be sucked in my mouth forever. Mm-hmm. What did you say? Which one did you say? Let's do uh, seven. Want one of these to cleanse it? Sure. I love these. Yeah. I'll do seven too. It's good. Um. Hmm. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. It's just being ornery. Mm. What now? Okay, we've already had the jammies. Or those jammies. Oh, sorry. Um, what say we do 
So, you want to try to do this one? Sure. This looks like the same exact toffee, but it doesn't have Brazil nuts in it, and it's just like a big, goopy. If we can chunk break it, we'll it. try it. <coughs> okay. Again, noise. Sorry. Did that do anything at all? It says literally to whack it. <laughs> hey, breaking it up. Let's do it. <clears throat> Toffee is one of those things that you it, you can chew, but it's not always good to chew. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's like a it's like a candy you suck on for a long time. You we'll just try these little tiny pieces here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's butter. Okay. It's, it's butter toffee. Same mm -hmm. exact thing. Um, um, it's good. I love toffee. I'm gonna say it is good, but consistency. And I really like the nuts in the other one. Yeah. We're gonna do a six for this one on me. Okay. I think mine is a seven. It tastes the same. And the Brazil nuts don't really last. Like. Mm -mm. They're way they're they're long gone before you finish the toffee part. We have more toffee. Oh great. Toffee okay. pops. <laughs> How many minutes are we at now? Twenty six. We are killing it, guys. Nice. We're killing it. Not an hour and a half this time. <laughs> we listened to you. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> These. What is this? Toffee pops. They're cute little. They look like shortbread cookies. cookies. With the hash hash marks on the bottom. Little. Oh, this is soft. Yeah. Mmm. This tastes like something that you would get at those church dinners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like when you're when you have like your your homecoming or your uh -huh. whatever meal yeah. that people, it tastes like something that that you would get there. Yeah. That somebody that you looked at like your grandma made. <laughs> and it tastes very good. I'm serious. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> it tastes really good. Hmm. That's an eight for me. Mm. Mm. No. Yeah, that's an eight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're good. Eight for me too. Um. Mm. <laughs> let, I like me, let me get a little water first. No. Um, jalapenos, when they're handled correctly, aren't necessarily overpoweringly spicy either. Not like the very first time you cooked for me. Indeed. Indeed. You tried to kill me with jalapeno peppers. <clears throat> All right. It was fun. See how he yeah. doesn't like to talk about it? That's my bad. Sorry, guys. Mm. Jammy Dodgers. Raspberry. I love raspberry. Uh, and really just berries in general. You like fruit. You're, you, you love fruit. <coughs> I do. We got some dragon fruit once. Surprisingly, it was, it was good. Obscenely expensive. It was weird. Uh, <coughs> it was almost like kiwi consistency of the fruit, though. It was weird. Mm, it's a, mm. Stupid thing. Pull out. Sorry. I'm having some phrasing problems today. <laughs> you sure <coughs> are. With your, with I know. <laughs> I am the dumb. So it has a oh, cool. It has a heart. A heart. 
third. And uh, not on the other side. The other side's sturdy. <coughs> JD. Oh, Jammy. <coughs> Where what? is JD? Must be the brand. What? Where? It's JD on the cookie. <coughs> Stamped on the I cookie. thought that was a smiley face. <laughs> I literally thought that was a smiley face. <laughs> like a winky I have wink. high hopes for these. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. These are like the Christmas cookies that you buy for people at Walmart when you don't want to make them. It's, yeah, it's totally what it is. It's just got raspberry stuff in it. And I love everything about it. This might be another 10 for me. This is uh, it's a little more bland. It doesn't have as much of flavor. Whoops. My cookie fell down. Mmm. Danish. Danish cookie. Mm hmm Yeah. I was couldn't think of what the word was. This is seven for me. I'm not gonna go ten. It's not quite ten, but it's close. I'm gonna say nine. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You said seven? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not good with us. Except for the bag of candies. And like little little candies. One more item. One more item. In Which 30 is? minutes. <clears throat> Killed it. Light and crumbly chocolate chip, shortbread, mini bites. Okay. Huh? Mm. A lot of this has a tendency to stick mm -hmm. to your mouth. That was good though. It was it was pleasant. <clears throat> yes. It was enjoyable. Oh. Mm. Is, are they like no? Okay, I thought they were like individually wrapped little cookies. Uh, but they're on a tray. It would seem. They are. Oh my gosh! This smells like a bakery. Mm. <coughs> so these are shortbread chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Um, which, knowing your love for chocolate, means you're going to really like these. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Ready? I like the shortbread -ness, ness I like how small they are. Hmm. <clears throat> it's buttery. Very buttery. Um. Almost can't taste the chocolate from the butteriness. Agreed. You get um, it at the end. Yeah. Mm. The chocolate. I think I'm going to have to have another one. Just <laughs> Agreed. Because. The chocolate, and it's actually kind of cool the way that that, that works, is you really don't taste the chocolate until after you, the, the cookie is gone mm -hmm. from your mouth. Like it's already on its way down. You taste savory and then sweet. <clears throat> what? Yeah. Shortbread is so good. I love shortbread. Mm. 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 I have crumbs everywhere. Like, literally, I'm gonna have to sweep after this because it's everywhere. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Rude. I'm sorry. Okay. I have okay. to I have to grade it. Hang on. You know what? I'm gonna say eight. <coughs> it was, was good. Very good. It was very good. It was still nothing so far has beaten the the raspberry coconut. No, because that bars. stuff is freaking amazing. <clears throat> Truly. Oh yeah, hard candy. Hard candy. Do we want to do all that right now? Yeah, we got time. I mean, we haven't been we we've been just tackling food by food. We're gonna again. We're gonna be doing the trivia afterward. Yes, that's our dryer. Okay. Sorry, 
I'm crazy. Uh, <clears throat> I wish that this was made Universal Yums, if you're watching this, put like a resealable thing yeah. on one end. Because uh, it's a pain in the butt. <coughs> if you can, I mean, obviously there's some, you know, all that fun stuff. What do you want to do? Ooh, okay. This, I don't know what it is. Shall I see? We're gonna wing it. Okay, cool. Because there isn't time. <clears throat> <coughs> this green, which could be any. Oh, that's lime. That's straight up lime. What? Ugh, that smells. It smells like we're gonna be sucking on the lime that's cleaning supplies. It smells like cleaning supplies. That's true. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I like them. It has an aftertaste of Clorox. <laughs> okay. I will say this. It's So, it, it it's a hard candy, for one. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. It tastes that like... Candy? The green, you know the candies that like your grandma used to buy, that have that like she kept in the that have like yeah. little little sugar dots on it, because it's you know it's not powdered sugar, it's got sugar on it. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the little orange slices, like the gummy orange slices, but the green ones. It's those. It tastes just like those. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's like a gooey center. Oh. Okay. Is there? Careful. Did you just break a tooth? I don't think so. <laughs> um. I don't really care if there's a gooey center because it's gross. It has some gooeyness in the middle, but it's the same thing. Same liminess. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. No. <coughs> I'm good. Hmm. Some more water. Yeah, I have a little more. You may have the rest. <clears throat> oh, thank you. You sure? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. I just do a quick check here. I felt a twinge of pain, but... Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Don't bite down then. Yeah. Really. <coughs> Which one do you want to do first? A lot of these are going to be very chewy candies. Actually, they're a little <clears throat> soft. Really? <coughs> oh, nice. Let's do the white wrapper ones first. Okay. That's actually the one that I grabbed. It just looks like a normal caramel. Like, like the, the mm. kind you can get in the cubes. It smells different though. It smells like it has another flavor in it. Like it's got something in the middle? Hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's chewy. It's not hard. Oh man. We didn't rate that last one by the way. No. The last one is a two. You don't like gross. it. Gross. <laughs> what do you want a six? I liked it. This one though. The white wrapper. Oh, so good. Is an eight. It's a nine. I love caramel. Sorry. Mmm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. You can hide that bag from me when you eat it all. Have at it. <laughs> Rot my teeth out. those for me, the jalapeno ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toots. So we also planned, if you can't tell, because I haven't been up to get water yet, we have planned a little bit more this time. Uh, so we each have a glass of water and we have a refill. So we did plan Pink. More. We're going to do the pink one. It's a little bit harder, isn't it? Not really. Um, no? I don't know why Wait, it's... I can't get my It seems like it's the same thing. It smells the same. It smells a little different to me. Do you think it has <laughs> raspberry in it? Mm hmm That is raspberry flavored caramel. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. That's a nine for me. That's a ten for you, isn't it? Yes. It's very good. Hard. Hard ten. <coughs> Where is that? <coughs> this one, I guess? Wait. There yeah. isn't, there, I mean, yeah. it's gotta be that one. Um. So it's like a caramel chew that is softer than than, than the ones we have here. Mm -hmm. Like it immediately starts melting in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And it's been infused with like raspberry ness ness. That's 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 good. Oh, I, I, I love it. You want a palate cleanser? You want this or you want those? Mm, let's do the jalapeno ones again. That's a bigger bag. I may, I may <coughs> save, save the chili ones for dinner tonight. <coughs> I still have this chip from before. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Those jalapeno ones are amazing too. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to save this one. It's like, it's definitely something probably raspberry. Oh my gosh. Is it hard? Mm hmm. Uh, we're gonna save this one for the for last. Um, this one just looks like regular toffee. Um, treacle or treacle? Treacle is uh, actually mentioned <coughs> in Harry Potter. Is it? Yeah. Oh. I don't know about this one. It's it seems to be too hard for me to chew. Does it smell good at least. It smells good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It kind of. Smells like coffee a little bit. It does. <coughs> I'm just gonna get a piece of it, probably. Well, it's coffee or espresso or something coffee related. You taste that? I do. Um, if the texture was like the others, it would be amazing. Agree. But I don't like the texture. Yeah. Too hard. It's too hard. Too hard to get off your teeth. So, let's do a... Uh, Seven? Six for me. Six? I don't like the texture. Yeah. Six for me, too. That means we have one more. little trivia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Take forever to get that out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. <coughs> out of my mouth. I'm from the south, the deep south. <laughs> Officer Linus. Yeah, Officer Linus. Which is on our D and D. Uh, which is where? On our our D and D. Which is where? Uh, show, which is on uh, it's the channel is called IOTII, which is Inquiries of the Illustrious Idiots. Um, we also stream on Twitch.tv slash IOTII. Mm -hmm. Sorry, shameless plug. Let's get to the last piece. Shameless. I'm gonna need to hold him. Oh. Ooh. It's soft. That is like a Tootsie Roll. You remember those flavored Tootsie Rolls? Oh my god, I could eat the a whole pound That's of That's exactly those. what this is. It's raspberry flavor. And it's soft. It's hard when you push on it, but when you eat it, it's soft. Oh man. I'm glad we saved this for last. Uh, I'm seven. I'm pretty good. I'm saying nine. <laughs> I love soft shoes. Okay. So the winner, well, the loser, by far, is the haggis. Mm -hmm. The haggis chips. Um, <clears throat> These are not good at all. If you've actually, um, haggis... Uh, tastes differently from that, but you, you know it's an approximation. It's it's close, I guess. And the winner are these lovelies. Oh yes. Now at this point, if you are, uh, if you have no interest in the trivia, hope you have a good day. You know, no worries. <laughs> Uh, if you want to watch the trivia, great. We saved it for last because obviously it's something that 
isn't of interest to everyone and watching us talk isn't necessarily entertaining everyone so we'll see what happens we got the answers. <clears throat> There's a word search too. Well, I was looking at some of the names of these things. On the hard candies. Mm-hmm. The the well, okay, so the very first one that I spit out was called it's it's filled with chocolate. It's Stockley's chocolate limes. Is it really? Lime candies <clears throat> filled with chocolate. I didn't pick up on that. It's gross. The second one we tried, the white wrapper. Prosecco fudge, sparkling wine flavored fudge. That's probably why I liked it so much. It was good. The third one. <clears throat> Wait. No. The no. red ones are the wine. The, the wine red ones, ones are the wine ones. Really? Mm hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> the white ones is salted caramel fudge. The toffee is chewy toffees with. Triacle? Yeah, that's why it tastes like coffee a little bit, I think. It's I'm golden not... liquid similar to molasses mm -hmm. that's supposedly created as the result of sugar refinement process. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, the last one was black currant and champagne flavor candies. It's called Cur Royale <coughs> Juice. Hmm. <coughs> That's actually really good. Okay, cool. Um, I just wanted to see what the hard candy was. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Trivia. True or false? Another name for the UK is Great Britain. True. What are the answers? Technically, it's true, but it has changed. Uh, is that your final answer? Uh, it's false. It is false. Though it's a common mistake, these two names aren't actually interchangeable. The United Kingdom and Great Britain are two different entities. The UK includes England, Scotland, and Wales, and Northern Ireland, while Great Britain includes only England, Scotland, and Wales. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Don't want to let Northern Ireland feel left out. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Sorry. You Number two. Move papers everywhere. The... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> My bad. The UK recently named blank as its national dish. Is it fish and chips, chicken pad thai, <laughs> Doubt it. chicken tiki masala, is that right? Yes. Or shepherd's pie? I would oh, mm. Which one is it? So shepherd's pie obviously is a popular dish, um, but fish and <laughs> chips is like iconic British. Iconic. I'm going to say fish and chips. It is. <clears throat> Chicken tiki masala. Oh, boo. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Okay. Uh, while well, fish and chips was a hot contender, the country recently voted chicken tikka masala. That's, tiki I, masala. I guess that, that's a typo there. As its oh. official national dish. Believe it or not, the spice curry was actually invented in Britain. Hmm. I'm not going to read the rest of it, but that's cool. That is cool. All right, I'm not going to look at this answer before. Big Ben is the name of London's famous bell, clock, lake, <clears throat> or statue. Isn't it a clock? It's a clock. Yeah. It's a clock. Three. It was cool. It is a bell. Confused again. This oh. colossal tower is one of London's most well-known landmarks, but it's also one of the most misunderstood. It's a clock The name tower. Big Ben doesn't really refer to the clock, but to the ma massive 13-ton oh. bell inside which rings every hour i see mm -hmm. whoops the more you know <laughs> right um, okay <laughs> the tower of london must keep six blank at all times is it cats bottles of champagne i know this one ravens or cans of beans it's ravens why uh it has to do with one of the Old kings wanting to have a means of sending uh, <clears throat> messages and stuff, I think. I mean, my dear, I'm right. As decreed mm -hmm. by Charles II, there must be at least six ravens on the ground of the Tower of London at any given time. Yep. Ancient legend has it that if the birds were to leave, the tower would crumble and the whole monarchy would fall. We, um, to play it safe, the tower usually keeps a total of eight ravens on the property, just in case. 
We took, <coughs> we took a tour, and the tour guide uh, told us that. Oh, cool. I'm Amber. I'm Amber there. I'm Amber. I'm Amber. All right. <coughs> In the UK, every horse is required to have Ow. a middle name. Air conditioned stables, <laughs> a passport, first world problems, or horseshoes at all times. I would say horseshoes at all times, but it might be something silly like a middle name. That would be hilarious, but I think you're right. It's probably D. Number five. No, it's not. Passport. Ha what? You read that right. Horses, donkeys, ponies, <coughs> and zebras all need a valid horse passport mm -hmm. in the UK. This small booklet identifies the animal by gender, height, species, and species, species whatever, species. and must be carried with the animal at all times. If the owners fail to provide this vital document, they could face unlimited fines. So there's certainly no horsing around when it comes to this rule. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's kind of crazy, okay. <clears throat> Which sport was horse. invented? Huh? Passport. Oh, there, right. Which sport was invented in the UK? Polo, golf, fencing, or racquetball? I think it was polo, but I don't know. It wasn't fencing. It was golf. Oh. The popular eighteen-hole sport was invented in Scotland in the fifteenth century, when yeah. players would hit pebbles over sand dunes with sticks. In 1457, the sport was banned by King James II. It was interrupting his archery practice, but was legalized again in 1502. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Golf in Middle Earth was uh, described as possibly being, in, in, by, by being invented by <coughs> the halfling Buror Tuk, uh, who was big enough to ride a horse. Apparently he cut off the head of an orc, or goblin, I think it was a goblin, and it went into a rabbit hole, and so... How did that story, what, how did invented. you start that, what? In Middle Earth. Uh, the, the, I missed that uh, part, okay. and that was pretty vital. Yes. Because that was very confusing. <coughs> it's vital, yeah. There is also a Bangers <coughs> and Mash... Recipe. Recipe, so if you would like to pause... There you go. Cool. Boom. At your leisure. And I think there are discussion questions, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. We're good on that. It's very <coughs> cool, but not beg your good. pardon. So, let's see here. Is that in here anywhere? Brilliant Brit. Must be. That's probably the challenge here. Oh, it's probably. <coughs> okay. Beg your pardon. The British sure do use some interesting slang. Have a butcher's. Let's take a look. Okay. It's brass monkeys out. It's cold <laughs> and miserable outside is what that means. You've made a dog's dinner of that. Oh, wow. Made a complete mess of that. Okay. He's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. I love that. I'm going to start using that. He lacks common sense. He lacks common sense, sense is what it means. <laughs> and they'll bite your arm off. They'll be so excited. Um, that's, that's creepy. That's really funny. That's like there's, there's another one, and it's used in a couple of movies, and I think one sketch of Monty Python. I'm not sure about that, though, but, uh, you know, he's all sixes and sevens. That means he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think that that... I quite enjoyed this one, except for the haggis. The haggis, yeah. Nastiness. Okay, so I think we are... Uh, we're at 54. So we did better We did on better. Time. Um, we'll see other ways we can reduce it later. The fact that we are reserving all the trivia to the end makes it a little bit better for those of you who just want to see the food part, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. <clears throat> Yes. And, uh, sorry. We'll see you next month. Uh, food. We'll see you next month. We don't know what it, it is yet, but we... Is there a hint for, for the next month? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, okay, clue to next month's box. 
Next month, we're putting on smiles and hopping on boats to a place filled with temples and markets that float. There'll be lemongrass soup and hot spicy curry. So stand by your mailbox and say, mailman, please hurry. Venice? But hot spicy curry. It could be a Middle Eastern. I don't know of any. I don't know. I don't know of any Middle Eastern places that have floating cities. Oh, that's fair. Ooh, if it was Venice. Well, which would just be Italy, I guess. That would be so cool. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. We'll let you know next month. Yeah. Bye. Bye. UK. Okay. Cheerio. Bye.